Okay, so we went over point number one, and I'm gonna go over point number two with you guys, and I'm gonna show you a different way to find latitude and longitude. Um, either way, you wanna use whatever's easiest for you, whatever's more comfortable, whatever makes you understand better, um, I don't care. So if you're looking at point number two, um, the other way of finding the latitude and longitude is to look at the directions first. So remember, what always, always, no matter what, will go first? Latitude. And you can only measure latitude either north or south of what? The equator, which is that pink line, okay? So if I'm looking at the equator, which is now that pencil, point number two is what? Is it above or below the pencil? Of course, it's below the pencil. So if now I'm talking directions, is that north or is that south? Well, it is south if you look at the compass right there. So what you would do is you're gonna look at the directions first and you're gonna write south, just like that, okay? Now going back to this, I have to find longitude direction first. So if I need to find point number two longitude direction, okay, remember, Longitude can either be measured in west or east, and that is all. So really, I have to focus on the pink highlighter, which is represents my prime meridian. So is point number two, is point number two to the left or to the right of the pink highlighter? Of course, it's to the right. So if I'm looking at directions, the direction would be east. So I'm going to write on the blank, East, so this is what it should look like. Southeast, okay? Now if you look at your map right here, southeast, okay? Super easy to remember. So whatever point that you're looking at, if we know that it's in this section right here, all you have to do is look at your directions, your two directions, and it's southeast. So you would write it just like that. So let's take a look at the point and let's find the actual degree, the number. So point number two, if I were to trace, trace, trace all the way across for point number two, I would run into the number 60. So you would write right in front of the S, you're going to write 60 degrees south, just like that. Okay. Now if you take a look at point number two, right here we got to find longitude second of course. You're gonna trace, 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 and you're gonna go all the way up and you're gonna run into the number 80. So from there, all you gotta do is write 80 degrees east. And that is the other way of finding latitude and longitude. Whatever way you wanna use, whatever's easiest for you, go for it.